Hi, my name's Ben. Uh, I got a 2400 on the SAT and I currently prep students to take the SAT. So keep in mind before I give you any advice that the SAT is changing structure, so take anything that I say with a grain of salt. Um, but when I took it in high school three years ago, it was at a 2400, so there are three sections. Uh, there's reading, math, and writing skills. And so, so reading comprehension. Um, if, I would to, if I were to give you general tips, I think the biggest thing is your preparation for the SAT doesn't occur in the couple of weeks, days, or months up to the SAT. It in fact occurs throughout your high school experience. The best way to prepare for the SAT is to take challenging classes. You take challenging classes that will make your writing better, your writing score will go up. Take challenging classes where you're reading challenging literature, your reading comprehension will go up, and your vocabulary will go up. Um, you can get dictionary apps if you want like little life hacks you can get dictionary apps where you look at the word every day and you try to use it to try to expand your vocabulary take uh, advanced math classes in high school and challenge yourself in math and your math score will go up so it's not just about the couple weeks going up to the exam it's mostly about your high school preparation and i think my experience in my ap classes were my most valuable preparation for the test okay that being said there are ways to bump your score up you know a um, couple hundred points based on some variation and based on your experience with the test. The biggest thing to do is to take the test multiple times in a test-like setting. So that means you're not listening to your um, music, you're not talking to your friends on your cell phone or texting or on Facebook. You're in a quiet room with no distractions, no stopping of time, and you're doing the test that's in front of you. And I think that's the biggest and the best preparation you can have. Um, and even do that for the writing section. So give yourself 25 minutes, get example prompts, and write the best essay you can in 25 minutes. No stopping, no distractions, uh, and see what you can do. Um, I think those are the biggest things. So take challenging classes, do the practice tests and test like settings. Those are the two biggest things because you'll learn a lot from that. Okay, now if you want some more like, like test hacks, the things that people do to kind of cheat up their score a little bit, um, I think what a lot of uh, prepping books will tell you, you know, Obviously, you want to time, manage your time wisely. That's kind of obvious. But the things like, for me, I would get um, SAT vocab books or vocab words, and I would quiz myself and go through those every day and make sure I'm reviewing the old ones just to expand my vocabulary because that was a weak part I noticed on my test. Practicing a lot of essays, that was a weak part for me, so I practice a lot of essays. When you're writing an essay, you can uh, brush up on some... Uh, very specific examples from history or literature that can be used for more prompts um, and that can sort of help you to draw on those specific examples when you're writing an essay and not to just draw on your personal experience but maybe a more sophisticated example from literature that you might have even memorized that you can use in a specific um, for a specific essay prompt question um, and then as for the reading comprehension uh, and math sections, I think the biggest part is to take challenging coursework in high school and to practice those uh, questions in test like settings. There's not a whole lot you can do to improve those scores on a very, very short term basis other than practicing the test. You can improve your vocabulary level, which they may or may not keep in the new test in the short term. And you can improve, in my opinion, your essay, your impromptu essay writing skill in a short term period. Those are the two biggest things I would focus on.